and officially and formally I declare, I live and my wife and husband. <laughs> First is um, Father Seamus O'Hearn. Um, he, he stepped in, well, I suppose not all that late in the day, but late enough in the day um, to, help us, to help us run the day. And he, he was absolutely fantastic. And I think you agree the uh, ceremony he had was um, a bit special. <laughs> I'd also like, like to thank Mina, who helped us at the start with the, uh, with the grace. I think it was a nice follow on from the events further in the day. <laughs> Excellent. I thought I was going to have to tell you to applause at this time. <laughs> but we can continue to get it right. Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Can someone have it removed? <laughs> Actually, can I have my coat back? <laughs> 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 It's all lies, complete lies. Anyway, um, I'd like to thank, thank Lorcan for um, being very good for us in the church in terms of videoing. And I, I think we're being videoed at the moment. I'd like to thank for that. I'd like to thank um, Kevin for um, where is he? There he is. Mm -hmm. Kevin for the, his his ushering ability during the day. And I think, in fairness, he kept us he kept us together at the church when it almost went away from us earlier today. So thanks very much for that. <laughs> oh yeah, and as well, he was offering. Uh, Eileen says he was offering unofficial travel advice. <laughs> and of course, uh, Mr. John Hartnett for uh, his, his valuable assistance in all things. <laughs> I don't know what he does. <laughs> we, we couldn't do it without him. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank our bridesmaids. I think they're, they're looking very well in the, uh, the Monaghan and Waterford colours. <laughs> Apart from a number of shoe-related mishaps, I think they've <laughs> done very, very well. Right in, fact, yeah. in fact, guys, you, you, you all know we've mentioned Ernst & Young, and there's, there's a few of my Ernst & Young colleagues down at the, the back there. Do you want to wave or make some noise or something? <laughs> well, well, interestingly, uh, this morning or just this afternoon, I got an email from them rating the bridesmaids all 10 out of 10. <laughs> Everybody here has, has travelled, well, in some cases, still to quite a short distance, in other cases, uh, a little bit longer, you know, and, and um, you've come from Waterford, from Galway, um, 
you've come from foreign countries. In fact, you've come from a lot of, you know, spent a lot of time in airports over the last couple of days. You know, so uh, Wendy and Lee, and I think know Gatwick quite well at this stage. Um, John and Yana have a good view of what goes on in Heathrow. Um, and I think, Evelyn, you know Brussels Airport really, really well now. So, uh, interestingly enough, I know that, you know, Martin came from Frankfurt and he came straight through. Apparently, it's a part of the IMF deal. But, uh, you know, the first thing you hear is, you're about to make a speech. <laughs> or have you got that speech ready? And what about that speech? You know, it's, it's, you know, it's, you never hear the end of it. But, but um, Thankfully, and I, and I of course not wasn't sure what I was going to say. It went from day to day. One day it was a, I had a good idea, and the next day it was a totally bad idea. <laughs> it was going around in circles. But I, I then thought maybe, well, maybe, maybe, maybe I'll uh, throw in a couple of fuckle from the from, from the from the Gaelic. But then I thought, sure, the Germans or the English might think I'm using strong language. <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, I was talking to Wendy here, this, and I thought, sure, I'll sign my hand with a bit of German. Well, why not? But a bit of German would, would go down well with those Germans that like it, you know, especially with that IMF and ECB. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I knew I could say, um, Guten Morgen, she told me that was good morning, uh, good morning, see. So when you said that was good time, well, I said, sign me, you know. The only trouble that the only other word she told me, of course, was "good night," which was "good night," of course. And I thought that'd be a bit of a short speech for the German. <laughs> In here, right? I suppose I tell one story, just for the sake of telling a story about our brotherly bond, right? <laughs> <laughs> the, the story, right, goes back about I'd say about ten years. It was during our our. Our wilder days, as you know, sort of Mike was a student in Germany and I was a student and I went to visit him, right? And this is a time during the day we went in, it was in Frankfurt, I think, we went to a, a local Irish bar and we were, we were having a few pints during the day, right? <laughs> That's what you do, you know, it's fair enough. Uh, we, 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 the, the details are probably hazy because you might have had quite a few drinks, you know. But, <laughs> Yeah. At that time, Mike was maybe prone to, to, to starting the odd argument inside the bar, and I, and I was prone to continuing the argument inside the bar. <laughs> so, so it was maybe a dual act. You know? <laughs> so this, this is, you know, something that happened just once, this time. This time only. Just the story here. It never happened other than this story. Never again. Only this once, right? Anyway, we're in the bar anyway, and like, I think... and. As the, the, the altercation happened, I decided, oh God, we better leave, you know, so we all got up, there was myself and Mike, and I think there was two friends of his at the time there, and we all left, they left to go outside. Of course I couldn't leave, you know, me going, oh, yeah, I'm going to stay here for a minute and see what trouble I can create. <laughs> so at some stage I'd said something to the barman or something, right, he was standing in front of me, so I started to push him out of my way to leave. At this stage, the barman decided, you know, they're, we're going to throw these guys out, or we're going to fight with these guys. So, like, I was going, oh God, I better leave quickly. So, I sort of hurried myself out the door, so I ran out the door. At this stage, Mike and these two friends were standing outside the door, and they saw me running towards them with, like, three barmans <laughs> running behind me, going, <laughs> as if they're going to attack us. At this stage, of course, Mike's, you know, defensive instincts for his brother jumps into, comes, into, <laughs> comes into action. So I stand and I start to turn around to look at to look at these three lads coming trying to attack us. And Mike straight away jumps in front of me, pushes me out of the way and says, I take you on. You know? <laughs> <laughs> of course, you know. <laughs> um, me being the, the bigger brother, I like, and I've always been very protective of Mike, goes, Mike, stop this. And I caught Mike and I pushed him out of the way and go, I fight these three lads. <laughs> and of course Mike going, Mike being the older, always in charge, brother comes to me and goes, I won't, I will. And he pushes me, you know. So at this stage, all of a sudden just descended from there and we just started pushing each other over and back and forth. You know? And the three guys who were who who could come out to fight us were looking at us going, who the hell? <laughs> They want to fight each other. <laughs> so, so they just wandered off back at the pub, going, okay, those two lads aren't for deep. 